So this is going to be a very weird video. I'm just going to warn you about that right up off the top and just point out that, you know, this is going to be a weird video. So the thing that I want to say today, and this is going to be a little bit of a rambly video, is that I miss iTunes. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking, Matt. iTunes is terrible, always has been terrible. It's also the most proprietary thing in the universe and literally has a terms of service that is like 20 pages long. How could you possibly miss iTunes. Well, see, the thing is, is that back in the day, kids, just settle in. I'm, Uncle Matt's going to be telling you a story. Back in the day, one of the things that, you know, I had was an iPod. You know, a lot of us had iPods back in the day, and it was it was good. But eventually, iTunes transitioned away from just being just about music and eventually had movies. Now, I did buy quite a few movies from iTunes, but I also went through and used Handbrake to rip all of my DVDs at one point, and then I used iTunes to manage that library, and that's what I miss about iTunes the most. Because the you say what you will about iTunes, it was god awful software, and if you used it on Windows, oh my goodness, you poor soul! It was <laughs> iTunes on Windows is is and especially was like really really bad. I don't know. It's like Apple has one Windows developer out there, and he's you know. He is not that great, but, you know, they don't really want to invest in more time. <laughs> so all of Apple's software on Windows at least was quite terrible. But the point is, is that iTunes was bad. But the one thing that it did really, really well was manage your library of both music, you know, podcasts and movies. Now, on Linux, or at least the open source software sphere, I should say, there isn't a very good program to manage movies. Now, there are t a ton of applications out there that'll manage your music library like you know there's there's rhythm box and other music applications like that that will allow you to fully manage your music library just like itunes used to back in the day and if you don't like that model there are other ways of doing it there are dozens of applications that will allow you to manage your music library but but there aren't any applications out there as far as i know that allow you to manage your movie library it's re a really weird like blank spot in the open source sphere and my problem, I guess, is that, yes, you could easily write a script to do this if you wanted to, but I want a, I want a full-fledged thing that will scan through my directory of movies, put them in, you know, a, a GUI, and then allow me to, you know, edit the tags and move them around or whatever I need to do, and also double-click on them to play. You know, that'd be so cool because it was one of the reasons why I really liked iTunes. I could go into iTunes, scroll through my entire movie library, find the one that I want to, you know, play and double click on it and it will start playing. There isn't anything good on the Linux side or an open source side that does that. Now, there are some more hefty programs that do things like this. So I could use Plex or I could use Jellyfin. Those are server client based applications that do way more than what I really want. I just want an application that I can play movies in that also manages the library, right? And that's what I would really like to see, but I don't, I've never found one. And that's kind of disappointing to me. It's one of the, honestly, it's about the only application that I miss from my time using Mac and Windows. Like I miss iTunes because it did movie management and movie viewings just really, really well. So yeah, just a little bit of a rambly video. I, I don't have much more to say about this other than if anybody knows of a program out there that manages movies similar to a music application, but for movies, uh, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. Let me know. Uh, I'd be shocked if anybody actually found one, but you know, you never know. So that's it for this video. Just a short little rambly video. Uh, thanks for watching. If uh, you want to follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey, those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. I really do appreciate it. Because YouTube did not like me taking two weeks off because of COVID, they have kind of removed me from the algorithm. So if you would like to help and you don't want to pay any money, you can just hit that like button. It would really help me out if you could do that. So I'd appreciate that. Uh, thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. I appreciate everybody who watches my videos. So thank you guys for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Thanks everybody for watching again. I'll see you next time. Uh, I think I said thank you like six times there in the last like 30 seconds. Fantastic. It's a very eloquent man as usual. See you guys tomorrow.